Let's talk about surfboards again, shall we? So this board in front of me is the Love Child by Modern Surfboards. Back in January, I made a video about it that I put on this channel. It was kind of a first look of this board. And in that video, I promised to do a full-on surfboard review, which I'm only getting to now because I've had a bunch of bad luck in the surf department. I live 90 miles away from the coast, which is roughly a two hour drive with traffic. And so I don't all that often get out there. And I've been desperately trying to review this board, surf it a little bit, kind of get a feel for it so that I can honestly give you my feedback. And it just hasn't been happening. I'll make the drive out to the coast, no surf. I come back home deflated, try again, same story. And that's happened five or six times. I'm happy to report that I finally found some waves this last week. I got to surf this board and now I'm finally ready to sit down and share my thoughts. So let's hop to it. I'm a fair weather surfer. Like I already mentioned, I live kind of a trek away from the coast. It requires a time commitment to go. And if I'm lucky, I get to surf one to two times a month. When you surf this infrequently, you don't really progress. I don't really get any better, right? To get better, you have to do a few times a week at least, if not every day. And so for the last few years, I've been jumping on my paddleboard more and surfing less simply due to the fact that it's just a little bit easier to catch waves. I kind of equate paddleboarding to powder skiing. When you're on a paddleboard, it's easier to catch waves and thus it makes every day kind of like a powder day. And when I make that long trek, it's kind of an insurance policy that I'm gonna have a good time. Otherwise, surfing can be frustrating. It's a difficult sport. And if you're on a short board, you make the trek out there, you put your wetsuit on, you hop in the water, you don't get any better, you don't catch any waves, you get completely frustrated, you drive home, and it's a little bit deflating. That said, this whole time while I've been paddle boarding, I have missed certain aspects of short boarding. Short boards are way more maneuverable. You can duck dive waves easier and they're just less cumbersome. Paddle boards are big and clunky. It takes a lot of effort to put them on a car, take them off a car, get them ready, carry a paddle, that kind of thing. A little board like this, you just pick up, super light, you throw it in whatever car you have and you go. Same thing when you get out on the other side, show up to the beach, grab it, bam, you're in the water. So the first thing that I like about this board is not really specific to this board, but that it's a smaller size and it's much easier to handle. Once you get in the water though, is where the modern surfboard shines. As I already mentioned in previous videos, this is considered to be a long short board or a short long board. So it's essentially a short board that has a lot of volume to it. It's really wide, it's really thick. It can float a lot of weight. I weigh 185 pounds, it floats me just fine. It's a very crazy feeling because it feels like a long board. So when you're paddling out, it's a very smooth, fast paddle. You can get past the brake easier but it's also small enough that you can duck dive under some waves and you know it helps you to maneuver the surf a little bit better uh, because the paddle board just gets caught in the wave and you just get swept away over and over again which can present its own set of challenges. Catching waves on the love child is a dream. You literally go one, two, three and you hop up and you're in the wave. It's about as easy as it can get for a short board. I was actually surprised. I anticipated it being a lot harder and it's quite easy. So catching waves is easy, duck diving waves is easy. And then once you get up on the wave, it's just, it's, you're in bliss. You can cruise around, carve any which way you want, and then you can do it over and over again. So when I was getting this board, I read online that this surfboard will increase your wave count. And that certainly seems to be the case. Two, three paddles, I'm in the wave and I'm cruising. I fall off the wave, paddle out, again, that's easy. Two, three paddles, I'm in the next wave. So my wave count was going like this, boom, 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 which is something I completely didn't expect because once again, I'm not an expert surfer. I don't surf on shortboards all that often. And I kind of expected to be frustrated out there for a while while I was trying to figure this board out. And that was not the case at all. I mean, I think I caught my second wave and then every other wave some, sometimes every consecutive wave I'd be surfing and I could tell that some of the people that were out there with me were getting a little frustrated because it seemed like I was catching them a little bit too easily. I wasn't working enough for them. So just be aware that if you surf on this board, you might piss off the surrounding surfers because they might think, who the hell is this person catching waves so fast? I also like that you can set this board up with a different fin configuration. As far as surfboards go, this is about the most flexible 
fin configuration I've ever seen on a board. You can surf this board with a big single fin, kind of like a long board. You can surf it as a thruster or you can surf it as a quad. Shit, you could probably surf it with no fins at all. So what else can I tell you? This board will float you, help you get out to the waves. It'll help you dive under waves. It'll help you catch waves and, it, and it'll put a big smile on your face. Long story short, I think this is a fantastic surfboard and I would especially recommend it for beginner or intermediate surfers. Just like a paddle board, I'm gonna classify the modern love child in that every day is a powder day category. So this board practically guarantees that you're gonna have a good time. It's gonna reduce the amount of frustration you feel trying to pop up on a board, and it's just gonna help you enjoy yourself more. If you are a beginner and you're looking for one surfboard that can do it all, I think this is a good choice. I think it truly is a long short board, and I also think that you will progress a lot quicker on something like this versus maybe something a little bit shorter, narrower, and thinner. Thanks for watching.